Peace to the 12. All praise to you. How about you, man? Shy. This lesson is going to be on uh, learn to milk, man. All right? Like the saying they got in the world, right? The saying in the world is that they use is a famous phrase is don't bite off more than you can chew. All right? Yeah, don't bite off more than you can chew, man. All right, it's another saying they got uh, that just came to mind. Uh, uh, don't write checks you can't cash. And that's exactly it, man. All right, if you don't know everything, don't pretend to know everything, man. It's just just learn the milk. What do I mean? Learn the milk of this Bible, man. First Peter 2 and 2, right? Well, I'm just going to read 1 through 3. All right, First Peter 2 and 2, but we're going to start at 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes, see a newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, man. Exactly, man. Desire the sincere milk of the word, man, that ye may grow thereby. All right, when you're born into this life, you don't start off eating solid foods, man. All right, you start drinking milk. All right, you drink some milk, you drink some water, then you might drink some little apple sauce, so you might eat a little apple sauce, and, you know, before you know it, you're eating a damn apple. All right, you get my point? All right, and then before you know it, you're drinking some wine, you're drinking some apple wine. <laughs> you hear me? But uh, anyway, exactly, man, just desire the sincere milk of the word, man. Don't, don't be uh, mad if you don't understand certain things or don't get frustrated or not, man. Hey, man. Because eventually it'll come to you, man, if the Lord is dealing with you. All right, you got to desire the sincere miracle of the word. All right, be sincere in this thing. All right, this ain't going to be a long video. All right, like a baby, man. A baby starts off drinking milk, like I told you. All right? Because you remember this truth, this knowledge, all right, this wisdom, this understanding was given onto the babes uh, right now. All right, because, you know, we all started off, everyone that's in this truth right now, we all started off as babes, man. All right, we all had to learn that we were Israelites um, from scratch. All right, well, like nine times out of ten, if you was born, right? If you was born, you weren't born. Someone telling you, uh, your son, you're an Israelite, you come from the tribe of Judah. You come from the tribe of Asher. You come from the tribe of, the tribe of Gad. All right, these are the high holy days. You know, you weren't you weren't taught all that stuff, man. You know, <laughs> you was taught. You know, uh, you know, black heritage, you got to learn to be some Brazilian heritage and all that. You know, that type of stuff. All right. You probably went to a cookout where you ate some unclean food. You know, all, all manner of mad. I'm not even going to get into that. All right. So we came in this thing as babes, man. All right. As newborn babes. So it's nothing wrong with desiring the milk, man. Learn the precepts first, man. You can't go into the prophecies. You can't open the book of Revelations. You can't open the book of Revelations and know what's going on, man. <laughs> if you ain't read the Bible, you can't do that, man. You can't go into the seven heads and the ten horns. Uh, you can't go into the, uh, the pale horse, the red horse. You can't go into that without understanding the precepts, man. That's just point blank. You understand? All right, so desire the milk, man. Cause, and the truth was revealed to babes like this, like this, like this uh, baby right here, man. Let's start that off at Matthew 11 and 25. This is the words of the Lord. At that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. That's right, man. The wise and prudent, you know, the know-it-all. Don't be a know-it-all in this thing, man. Not like you know every damn thing, man. Because you got to remember this truth was given to people that had no knowledge of their heritage, man. All right, they had no knowledge. And at this time, when, it, when when the Lord was saying this, right, you had the Pharisees, which were raised up, and they were, you know, they, they came from a background, a well-off background, and they claimed that they knew the precepts. They claimed that they, they knew the Bible. They acted like Bible scholars, but they didn't know the scriptures. They did err, like, like the Lord said what? The Lord said, ye do err. Not knowing the scriptures. Let me get that. Matthew 22 and 29. Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God, man. All right, so the reason people err, the reason people get things wrong, get the wrong understanding, is number one, they got to have the Holy Spirit, of course. And number two, they don't know the scriptures, man. All right. 
And those guys that tried to profess they knew the scriptures, they didn't know because they were against Yahweh Shai. If they were so into the Bible, they would have knew that Yahweh, they would have knew about Yahweh Shai's coming and how he was coming, man. But see, they had been blinded. But that's a whole nother video. Point is, man, the truth was revealed onto Babe. So don't be ashamed when you knew in this thing. You don't know everything, man. You don't know all the breakdowns. Don't be ashamed of that. All right, you got to get built up. I'm going to read that again. Matthew 11 and 25. At that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father. Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from wise, from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither, know, neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. And that is really, you know, is, that's really going into the Bible, because the Lord... I tell you this all the time. The Lord is the Bible made flesh. You can learn about that in John 1 and 14. All right. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory is the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So Yahweh Shai represents the word, what's in the Bible, the Bible. All right. The righteous words. All right. And no man can know it, the Father, lest he know of the word. You can't know the most high. All right, and what pleases him and what displeases him lets you know what's written in the Bible, man. All right, like for example, for example, um, for example, let's get that in Proverbs 6 and 16. You wouldn't notice if you didn't read the Bible. You wouldn't notice if you didn't read Proverbs, man. You wouldn't you would know what the Lord hates. Um, these six things doth the Lord hate, yes, seven are an abomination unto him. So there are six things that the Lord hate, and seven are an abomination unto him, man. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. All right? Bind them continually upon thy heart and tie them about thy neck. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee, man. All right, you see how the law is compared to a mother? That's the milk. All right, the milk of the word. You can start learning the laws, man, because once again, the laws are, are righteous. All right, the laws is what the Most High gave Moses, man, to teach the children of Israel, man. So you start off slow, get built up, understand the law. Then you start getting into the prophecies. Then you start getting into the dark sayings, man. All right, all all type of things like that. Which, if I could break that down, the milk, you know that, like I just said, the milk is the law. Like it says, the law of thy mother. We know that the mother produces breast milk. All right, the meat. That's getting into these prophecies, man. And then there, then you can get into the wine, which are the dark sayings. All right, the parables, the riddles. Um. Anyway, man. Uh, yeah, that's that's point blank period. You can't you can't understand the father if you don't know the son. You can't understand the father if you don't know the Bible, man. All right, a lot of people try to do that. Oh, I believe in God, and but I don't do this and that, and they be damn bug outs, man. All right, you can't be a damn know-it-all either, man. Like I said, th this knowledge was given to newborn babies, not the, not the wise and the prudent. You can't be that know-it-all brother, man. You can't be Mr. Know-it-all. <laughs> like, you know them guys you see, um, actually, it's pronounced, you know, that type of dude. Don't be that guy, man. Um... And like the Lord said, man, um, and, and the knowledge you get, the knowledge you get, man, the, the milk you get after you get built up, you start getting old, you start understanding, you get better and proper and more understanding, you got to start giving it out, man, because you received it free, now you got to give it out, man, Matthew 10 and 8, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely you have received, and freely, and freely give, man, all right, once you receive this word and understand, you got to freely give it, man, you can't be charging down ten dollar breakdowns man talk about subscribe to my damn only fans so i can break down genesis the fifth chapter all right you can't have a damn uh become a patreon supporter and i'll break down the book of revelations that's off man freely you receive freely give man and don't be a damn know-it-all man because knowledge puff it up like i said don't be this guy once you get this knowledge man all right <laughs> first corinthians 8 and 1 now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. That's right. So knowledge puffeth up. Knowledge make you look like this brother right here, man. 
Y'all got to see it. Um, actually, you know, the equilibrium of the homeostasis patterns of the rhinoceros. You know, that type of dude, man. <laughs> All right. You understand? So, knowledge perfect up, but charity edify. That's right. What you know, you flip it, man. You, you, you start bringing charity to the people. You start edifying and teaching the people, man. That's the whole point of this thing. Um, like that saying goes, what? If you know something, do something. Or if you see something, say something. Something like that. Exactly, man. All right. We see what's in this Bible, then we say it. All right. First Corinthians 3 and 2, man. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. Exactly. Like in Star Wars, man. You know, you got a Padawan. You got a Jedi Knight. You got a Jedi Master. All right. You got, you got a rank in this thing, man. You know, and some people... They, they still on the Padawan stage. They still getting the milk. Then they got to get the meat. Then they can eat solid foods. All right. I'm talking about get the meat. And you dirty minds out there. Um, get the meat. You know, eat solid foods. All right. But some people ain't able to bear it, man. You know. So don't worry, man. Get built up. Hebrews 5 and 13. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful. In the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. That's right, man. If you if you using the milk, you're unskillful in the word, all right? Cause you still you still at the baby baby stage, man. You still at the, you know, the parrot level, whatever you want to call it, man. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age, man. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, all right. So you know, strong meat belongs to them that are full of age, man. I'll give you an example, right? I'm really into animals. Like, I understand animals, their nature, all type of things, what they eat, yada, 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 right? So when you are down, when you, when, certain snakes, right, they get born, they, they're born so small, born so uh, tiny that they eat insects, all right? And then the older they get, they start eating mice, and then they can eat rats, and then some of them start eating whole foods like goats and alligators, man, you know? But they didn't start off doing that. Once again, don't bite off. Once again, don't bite off more than you can chew, man. Don't be like this bird, man. All right, and hold on. Oh yeah, the same verse, right? Let's go. Let's go one verse up. All right, he that's on milk stage, he's unskillful. Hebrews five and twelve. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. So the first principles of the oracles of God. What's that mean? And are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. All right, so what does it mean, the first principles of the, of the oracles of God? Let's look that up. All right, let's look that up. The word oracle is the contents of the Mosaic law. All right, so one of the first things you should be teaching people is what to do and what not to do pursuant to the law of Moses, man. All right. That's the first principles of the oracle of God, man. Uh, that's teach. And you had someone teach them again. All right. But also, you got to remember that that down. Now, you got to learn because <laughs> there is a law where you have to be circumcised, man. You don't start off the gate walking up to somebody and say, hey, man, I need you to cut the skin off your damn rod, man. He's going to look at you sideways, man, because he ain't built up. He's got he's to get built up in this thing, man. That, hap that actually happened in there, too, man. You know, let me see if I got that. Right, you know, and there's brothers on milk level. I just thought of a thing in my head. Right, a brother told me, Rob, what's uh, what speaking in tongues mean? So he didn't even know that, you know. I broke it down to him that tongues just means another language, but um, um, <laughs> but yeah. Like you said, you know, we got to give them the sincere milk of the word. For we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. All right. The best thing to have is faith. Have faith. Believe everything that is written, man. Believe everything that is written. Let me see if I got that too. I think I do. I think I do somewhere. 
Um, you have to you have to respect all the things written, man. Have faith, believe in all those things, man. Everything else is gonna fall into place. It's gonna come naturally when you truly believe. You gotta have faith, man. Like the Lord said, what? The Lord said, faith moveth mountains. You know, there's a whole chapter on faith in Hebrews. Now look, Matthew 17 and 20. And Yahushua said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you, man. So faith, nothing is impossible unto you when you have faith, man. When you believe everything that is written, man, you can't have a stumbling block. Like, for example, you can move a mountain, right? People go through stumbling blocks. But when you have faith in all the precepts, all right, you will be able to move that stumbling block and that mountain away from you, man, no matter what it is, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, I didn't want this video to be too long, man. Um, like, uh, yeah, the Lord said a lot of Mosaic law. We get a couple of scriptures on that. Genesis 26 and 5, because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws, man. You know, I did a video not too long ago how there was a law before, the law was already prescribed before Moses. I did a video on that. I'll probably touch on that again, too. But, um, the Lord said unto Moses, how long are fees ye to keep my commandments and my laws? That's Exodus 16 and 28. Nehemiah 9 and 13. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai and spakest with them from heaven and gavest them right judgments, right judgments and true laws, good statutes and commandments. So learn the, learn the laws, man. All right. Learn what to do and what not to do, man. Get this milk before you try to get into something you ain't going to understand. So I'm trying to tell you, man. And the Lord's going to have mercy on you. Exodus 20 and 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments, man. That's another scripture. What the Lord said the same thing. The Lord said the same thing. That's in John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. See, that's the same thing. Same song, man. Showing mercy on the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. All right. And things you can focus on when you're coming out of the world are things like this, man. Right? We're going to start it off at 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So if you fall in these categories, you need to, need to get rid of that right now. Put it away. Because you ain't going to make it if you don't. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and by the Spirit of our God. So, so guess what? Some of us, some of you, some of us fell into the category of one of these things. All right, but we're washed by Yahweh Shai, man. Really through belief. Because we believe, we believe in Yahweh Shai, man. And of course, what is a sin? That's transgression against the law. First John three and four: Whosoever, whosoever committed sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law, man. All right. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this scripture and I'm gonna close out, man. Oh, and I should mention too. You know, I don't know why I didn't mention this in the beginning, but you know, what made, what inspired me to do this lesson was actually a dream, man. I had a dream and it just kept repeating, sincere miracle the words, sincere miracle all throughout my dream, man. So. Let me do this video. Um, Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the, in the places drawn water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates, man. Which I got to do a very, I got to do a breakdown on this, man, this verse. But yeah, rehearse the righteous acts. That's the point. Rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High. Uh, you know you're not perfect. Hey, but do what you can, man. And don't try to bite off more than you can chew. Learn the milk, man. Learn the sincere milk of the word. And with that, I'm going to close out. I got anything else? Um, matter of fact, I'm going to keep going a little bit. Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, 
whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good of a good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think of these things, man. All right, so think of all these things, man. The pure, the honest, the just, man. The righteous, man. Think on those things, man. Don't try to be a know-it-all. Don't try to bite off more than you can chew, man. I will meditate and uh, and meditate on the precepts, Psalms 119 and 15. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. Yeah, respect the ways of the Most High, man. Don't don't try to discredit them. Don't try to ignore them, of course, man. Are you, are you destined for destruction? Now read Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 12. I ain't gonna read the whole chapter. Read Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 12. Um, to really understand how to inherit this wisdom. All right, with, I'm gonna read. With, I'm gonna read seven and twelve. Read the whole chapter though, and I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. I knew them. I knew not that she was the mother of them, man. So you got you got to use this like a mother. A mother has what a breast. You get breast milk from this wisdom, man. So that you you get understanding through the precepts, man. Let me get that scripture. Did I get that through uh, precepts? Uh get understanding that's Psalms 119 and 104 through thy precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way so you can't get understanding unless you read the Bible man you gotta get the precepts man stop being lazy man read the Bible or you're not gonna make it and with that once again don't bite off more than you can chew and desire to sincere make of the world and with that I say peace to the 12 I want to give all praises and honor and glory to the most high Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, man. I want to say Shalom, which means peace to you brothers listening and learning, you brothers doing this work, and you elders that was before me, man. We almost out of here. Shalom.